Hey there. We're so glad you're here. Get ready to step into the spotlight this year. Yeah. This year. Where are we headed? I'm sure you want to know. Let me set the stage for where we'll go. You've got Steve. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Doing your best while practicing your craft. STEAM inspires big ideas, bold action, and creativity. These skills empower us to bring ideas to life and build the future. Film, music, theater, photography, design a world of endless possibilities. Create art and experiences that entertain and inspire. Dream big, out loud. Fuel your creative fire. There may come a time in your journey ahead when things aren't going like they did in your head. When you give yourself the freedom to fail, your best ideas are free to set sail. So remember to always chase after that dream. Because behind you, you have a global community, a worldwide team. It's the memories you'll make and the magic you'll build. No ideas unexplored, no dreams unfulfilled. The future is a place you will create. So, are you ready? Welcome to First In Show, presented by Qualcomm. Welcome to the first Tech Challenge 2023-2024 season game, Center Stage, presented by RTX. A team consists of up to two driver operators, a human player, a coach, and a robot. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Each alliance is allowed one human player, your opponent for one match may be your partner for another. Robots must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing tool and may expand after the match begins. The primary scoring element is a plastic hexagonal shaped pixel three inches across by one half inch thick. There are 64 white pixels and 10 each yellow, green, and purple pixels. Teams may construct custom game and scoring elements, including paper drones and team props. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. Two trusses are located midfield. Between the trusses is the hinged stage door. In the back of the field are the backdrops, one for each alliance. Beneath the backdrops are taped off backstage areas. In the front corners are taped off wings. In each quadrant of the field are three separate spike marks. Just inside of the front wall are white pixel location stripes. And outside of the front wall, there are three taped off landing zones. April tags are located in the field wall and both backdrops to aid navigation. 
Blue and red Alliance stations are on the left and right sides of the field. And in front of those are the red and blue human player stations. Before each match, pixels are stacked next to each player station and on the inside of the front wall. Four pixels are placed on the spike marks. However, team props may be substituted for the spike mark pixels. Teams place their robots on the field, touching the side walls. Each team may preload one yellow and or one purple pixel onto their robot. Teams may also preload one drone onto their robot. The spike mark pixels and team props are then randomized. The field and players are now ready. The match begins with a 30 second autonomous period. During this time, teams may attempt to score using pre-programmed instructions and sensor inputs. A purple pixel placed on the spike mark tape earns 10 points. However, if the spike mark tape has a team prop, placing a purple pixel will earn 20 points. Each pixel in the backstage earns three points. And each pixel placed on the backdrop earns five points. If a yellow pixel is placed on the backdrop in the location indicated by the spike mark pixel, it earns 10 bonus points. Or 20 points if a team prop was used as an indicator. Robots parked in the backstage earn 5 points. Pixels scored in the autonomous period will also earn points at the end of the driver controlled period. Following the autonomous period is the 2 minute driver controlled period. During this time, human players may introduce new pixels into the wings. Each pixel that is placed backstage earns one point, and each pixel on the backdrop earns three points. Each mosaic of three identical or three different pixels earns 10 points. If an alliance can build pixels above the set lines, they earn a 10 point bonus for each line they cross. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. Robots may continue scoring pixels, and there are also ways to earn bonus points. Robots may launch drones over the truss or stage door and into the landing zones. Depending on where they're parked, they can earn 10, 20, or 30 points. Robots parked in the backstage area earn 5 points. And a robot suspended by the rigging earns 20 points. There are many ways to score in center stage, but there are also rules that if not followed, will deduct points from your alliance. Robots may not limit the upward motion of the stage door. Robots may not de-score pixels from the opposing alliance's backdrop. Intentionally damaging another robot is not allowed. A robot may not affect the flight of an opposing alliance's drone. A robot may not make contact with an opponent suspended from the truss. This has been a summary of this season's game, Center Stage, presented by RTX. For complete rules, please read both game manuals and check the Q&A forum. And always remember the most important rule of First Tech Challenge, gracious professionalism. Good luck teams and have a spectacular season.
Hi, I'm Chris Johannesson. Here in Los Angeles, I mentor first teams from beginners to advanced. I encourage gracious professionalism based on what the actual words mean to me. What is a professional? Doing challenging work, using your mind and talent and education as much as using your hands. Adult professionals push very hard towards their goals. Design the product, cure the patient, earn a promotion. They are competing against their own goals. This season, help your team set internal goals. How will you measure success? A reliable autonomous? Learning a new skill? Solve problems in a methodical way. Learn all you can beforehand. For a large technical challenge, break it into smaller steps. Discuss with your teammates and seek advice from mentors. These are things that adult professionals do. Start developing these skills now. By the way, colleges will recognize your efforts. What about the gracious part? Help your teammates all you can. Favor communication, not isolation. When you enter the robotics room, show the behavior and even the language that makes others feel welcome and valued. People will notice and stay and contribute thanks to your influence. So gracious professionalism to me means being a helpful teammate while pushing hard towards your goals. Have an exciting season. Welcome to the 2023 First Tech Challenge season, Center Stage presented by RTX. I'm the Industrial Manager in the Hot Section Module Center here at Pratt & Whitney. This is one of many production sites that makes us a world leader in design, manufacturing, and service of aircraft engines. As an RTX employee, I'm able to share my operations and career coaching expertise with the First Tech Challenge teams I coach. Shout out to my robotics warriors in Connecticut and Montana. This year's First Tech Challenge season explores how design can set the stage for innovation. We'll celebrate the role of STEM in the arts where creativity can inspire big ideas. Let's take a quick look behind the curtain at some incredible RTX innovations that exemplify the beauty in engineering and technology. At the nexus of science and art, we find the James Webb Telescope an international project led by NASA. Raytheon developed the focal plane arrays on MIRI, one of Webb's four key imaging instruments. By capturing light that's been traveling for billions of years, it's giving us new insight into some of the biggest secrets of the universe and revolutionizing our understanding of it. Good morning, teams. Welcome to DC International School. I'm the event manager and the director of career and technical education here. Uh, my name is Shane Donovan. Welcome to Center Stage, presented by RTX, part of the first in show season. Yeah, that's right, let's clap for that. It's game time. Okay. <laughs> first is a global robotics community, preparing young people for the future. First engages students in grades pre-K through 12 in our suite of programs. First Lego League, first robotics competition, and of course, what you're here for, first tech challenge. FTC started in 2005, and it's grown to more than 6,000 teams in more than 53 countries. This continues the transformative impact of FIRST programs, and you are part of this movement. All of you are helping make this program possible for the next gen generation of innovators in this room. So thank you very much. Uh, we're going to have a blast today. It's going to be exciting to see everyone's robots as our 24 teams have been working really hard to design and build their robots for this season's game at center stage. This season, we're shining a spotlight on the role STEM plays in the arts. How science, technology, engineering, arts, and math inspire big ideas, bold action, and creativity. Your skills make it possible to create art and experiences that bring us together, entertain us, and move us. Being a first team member means access to education and career discovery opportunities through opportunities such as industry certifications, internships, and scholarships. FIRST offers you the opportunity to network with employers and a place in the FIRST community for life. Learn all about the ways to make the most of your first experience at firstinspires.org slash alumni. Um, 
Let's quickly hear from some of the alums about their experience on the video screen. I am an educator. I'm a CEO. I'm building the future of dual-use tech companies. I'm a robotics professor, an engineer, and a former contestant on Survivor. I'm a manufacturing engineer. I am a builder. I'm a first alum. I'm a first alum. First, first alum. alum. I am proud to be a first alum. Thank you. And now let's recognize a group of leaders in our first community and on your teams, the first alumni and high school seniors. First, would all of the first alumni in the room please stand up? Or put your hand up if you're already standing. First alumni, folks who did first themselves. Yes, Jeff, we got a ref, Niall. Thank you guys so much. And then second, can we get our seniors, some recognition for our seniors. If you are a high school senior, put your hand up or stand up. Can we put that round of applause for our seniors? For some of you, center stage might be your final season competing in first. We want to take a moment to recognize you guys will soon be first alumni. Um, you're becoming first alumni now too, and we look forward to seeing what you do next. Uh, at the beginning of lunch, we welcome all alumni to come down. We'll take a group photo near the field. Um, lastly, I want to take a moment to thank all the parents, coaches, mentors, and volunteers who make today's events possible. Can we get a round of applause for the parents who got up very early, the volunteers who got up even earlier? Thank you. We ask all of you today to honor the first ethos of gracious professionalism. This means doing your best work and at the same time that you're going to respect and value the other students, teams, and volunteers here. Today is where all the hard work you've put into designing, building, and programming your robots comes to life in thrilling competition. So good luck. And now I'd like to introduce today's MC, someone I know well, a founding member of Team 4821 from FRC that I coached 13 years ago, Mr. Niall Smith. Good morning, First Chesapeake. Is everybody ready to have some fun with some robots today? Before we get started, I'd love to introduce some of our wonderful, wonderful volunteers that we have on hand. First and foremost, out in yellow, they're the ones making all the big decisions and big calls. We have our judges. Our judges are an integral part of the FTC experience. These individuals have the difficult job of singling out the best of the best from today's teams. They've already been busy this morning interviewing teams and reviewing engineering portfolios. They'll be in the pits watching the matches and deliberating later today. We look forward to see the outcome of their hard work at the awards ceremony this afternoon. Let's give them a big round of applause for their dedication. Next, I'd like to give a wonderful, warm welcome and good morning to our FTAs. This is our field crew, our technical advisors. These are the people that work with all the brains and guts and help everything stay flowing smoothly. And finally, we have one bumblebee and a bunch of zebras. I'd like to introduce our referees for today. Our referees have the difficult job of ensuring everyone is playing by the rules, as in all sports. Their rulings are final. There are no reruns or video replays. Please help us stick to the schedule by respecting their decisions and following the appropriate challenge process. Thank you, referees. And finally, but definitely not least, I would like to thank all of our mentors and coaches for coming out today. A lot of these teams couldn't be here without you all. Back to one of our founding principles of FIRST, gracious professionalism. We talk about it every year, and we'd always love to learn more about it. So let's take a quick look at a video on gracious professionalism. Hi, I'm Chris Johannesson. Here in Los Angeles, I mentor FIRST teams from beginners to advanced. I encourage gracious professionalism based on what the actual words mean to me. What is a professional? Doing challenging work, using your mind and talent and education as much as using your hands. 
Adult professionals push very hard towards their goals. Design the product, cure the patient, earn a promotion. They are competing against their own goals. This season, help your team set internal goals. How will you measure success? A reliable autonomous? Learning a new skill? Solve problems in a methodical way. Learn all you can beforehand. For a large technical challenge, break it into smaller steps. Discuss with your teammates and seek advice from mentors. These are things that adult professionals do. Start developing these skills now. By the way, colleges will recognize your efforts. What about the gracious part? Help your teammates all you can. Favor communication, not isolation. When you enter the robotics room, show the behavior and even the language that makes others feel welcome and valued. People will notice and stay and contribute thanks to your influence. So, gracious professionalism to me means being a helpful teammate while pushing hard towards your goals. Have an exciting season. Well, here's the general schedule for today. In just a few moments, we will begin our qualification matches. Following the qualification matches, we'll move on to the alliance selection, where the top-ranked teams will choose their alliance partners for this afternoon's elimination matches. And finally, after we've crowned a champion on the playing field, we will begin our award ceremony to close out the day. Teams, just because you didn't make it in a qualifying match or into the final, please stay all the way to the end. You may win a judge's award. But now, just to get everyone involved and, inter and interested in the game today, can everyone point to North? Does anyone know where North is? Can someone point to North? Anyone know which way North is? North is that away. Everybody, North is that away. Your main exit that you came in from is North. To the south is our emergency exit. Right over there by the big scoreboard, there is an emergency staircase. So everyone can see it, there's a big emergency staircase back over there by the scoreboard. If in the case of an emergency, please leave out the emergency doors and gather in the open field right outside. In addition to safety, all players, all teams, all teammates, all mentors, coaches, family members, whoever. If you are standing on this black carpet at any point in time, you should have on safety glasses. You should have on either the side guard, a full goggle, some form of eye protection. We do not want to see people walking around with eyewear on their forehead or on their shirt. That is not safe, that does not work. It can't protect you if it's not over your eyes. We would love to see all these wonderful teams. But who's ready for some robots? Y'all sound asleep. I mean, I know it's a, like a lazy Sunday, but still, let's wake up. Who's ready for some robots? All right, let's get ready to introduce our first set of teams for qualification number one. In red, our first team will be two, 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 zero, two. Our second team will be five, 19. And in blue, Starting out, we will have 389 going alongside team 14607.
I remember some of these team names. I'm finally getting to see the names. In red, we have infinity.exe alongside Epsilon Delta 2. And over in blue, we have the Swarm alongside Robot Uprising. Looks like we're about to get our first match started. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? FTAs, scorekeepers. Our referees are setting the stage. Wait. The far one as well. Yes. Perfect. Our referees have set the stage. The curtains are ready to rise in three, two, one, go! That's the start of our autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do. Looks like infinity.exe is going to place their autonomous pixel. They place their purple pixel on the right spot. Drivers, pick up your 
controllers. Three, two, one. All right, going to the driver period. We see the, we see the red alliance making its mark, going for the pixels. Blue alliance is trying to score again. Infinity.exe goes for one of the pixels. We have team 519 trying to get their pixel from their alliance hub. Infinity.exe getting two, getting one pixel from the stack. It looks like they're going to score it. Robot Uprising trying to get their pixel. Infinity.exe scores two pixels on the backboard. Looks like they're getting two more. Robot Uprising going for their first pixel. Their team partner, their blue line scoring one pixel on the black backboard. Infinity.exe trying to get their second pixel. Looks like they're gonna go score one first. Infinity.exe scoring another pixel. Robot Uprising continuously trying to get their pixel. Infinity.exe getting another pixel. <laughs> Looks like that's the start of end game. Let's see what these robots can do, which robots are gonna hang. Robot Uprising going for the hang. Looks like they've extended their attachment. Oh wow, Infinity.exe getting a drone in the first stage. And they're going for the hang too. Looks like they've hung too. Infinity.exe is on a roll. Robot Uprising going for the hang. Let's see what they can do. That's the end of the match. Pretty strong first match. And while we await the results from that match, let's go ahead and get ready to meet our contestants in round number two. First up, we have 220022 Electric Eagles. Alongside team 17709 Bulldogs Tech. They will be facing off against in blue team 23888 Frost Falcons. Alongside team 13270 Electric Slide. And the scores are in from the first match. It will go to the Red Alliance. Red Alliance wins it with a score of 88 to 11, setting our high score in this first match. setting the stage.
the stage has been set. The stage has been set. The curtains are ready to rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off. We see 13270 going for their auto. They dropped a pixel. I see another, team, another robot from the Red Alliance approaching the backboard. Looks like they've parked in their section. Hopefully we'll see more action in the driver period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And then we're off. We're seeing a lot of action currently. 17709 attempting to pick up a pixel. Or 13270 is attempting to score. All right, 17709, grabbing more pixels from their human player area. You see two purple. Will they be able to get it to the backboard in time? All right, there is a drone we see on the ground. Hopefully, the Red Alliance will still be able to make it come back. The score is currently five to 20, favoring blue. All right, we see the Blue Alliance approaching the backboard. Will they be able to get any pixels on there? All right, we see them. There's the first pixel of the game, folks, on the backboard for the Blue Alliance. That'll put them at 23 points. Right, and we're approaching end game now. Let's see if we can see any drones, any robots attempting to hang. All right, that's, there's another pixel for the Blue Alliance. That'll put them to 26. All right, and we see a robot attempting a hang. Will they be able to complete it before the time's up? <laughs> All right, we see a drone, we see a robot hanging. And as we await that score, let's go ahead and meet our teams in match number three. Starting out in red, we have team two, three, eight, zero, seven. Clock Stoppers 512. They will be alongside team 21828. Where's your name at? Steel Dynamos. Over in blue, coming up against you will be teams 6417 Blue Crew. They will be joined alongside team one, three, three, five, three, circuit breakers. And let's go ahead and get our scores from round number two. It'll go to the Blue Alliance. With a score of 46 to 20, the Blue Alliance takes that win.
field is set. The curtain's ready to rise in three, two, one, go! That's the start to our autonomous period of the third match. Let's see what these teams can do. Red Alliance drop, uh, going for a pixel in the, their back. Blue Alliance going for a pixel on their backdrop, and they get it. Both Blue Alliance teams have placed their purple pixels on their tape. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. That's the start to our tell you period, otherwise known as the driver operated period. Looks like Blue Alliance accidentally sends, and sends their drone flying across the field. Let's see what these teams can do. Circuit Breaker going for, their, going for their two pixels. Let's see if they can get it. Wow, look at the Blue Alliance. Looks like they have a different way of getting their, method, their pixels. We have Blue Crew going for their two pixels. Let's see if they can get it. They got their two pixels. Let's see what they're going to score. Blue Crew scores their two pixels. Blue Alliance gets their mosaic with their three yellow pixels. Looks like Blue Crew is going for another two pixels. Red Alliance still working on getting their two pixels. Let's see what they can do. Blue Crew scoring two pixels on their backdrop. Circuit Breaker still going for their two pixels. Let's see, we have... Let's see here, we have... Looks like the Blue Alliance is stuck under the bridge. Circuit Breaker is going to stare their, score their pixels. Blue Alliance trying to... It looks like there's two robots stuck on the field. Blue Alliance is unstuck. Let's see. Let's see. They're both going for the hang. Circuit Breakers gets their hang off. Hey, 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 hey. Blue Crew going for theirs. Looks like Blue Crew is going to hang. Blue Crew is going for the hang. And as and that's we the get end of the ready match. for that wonderful score, let's meet some more in qualification match number four. Coming up in red, we have team eight, five, three, five, Shark Bites. They will be partnered alongside team seven, five, one, nine, Cougar Botics. They will be facing off against the in blue. Team one, three, five, nine, nine, Bruin Bots, as well as team two, Four, one, six, three, illuminate dot e x e. And the score from round number three will be. The Blue Alliance with a score of 88 to 50. The Blue Alliance takes that win.
Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? The referees are setting the stage. And now, we get ready to see another wonderful, wonderful showing of robots in three, two, one, go! And we're off. We're seeing a lot of action in this autonomous period. Bruin Bolts is heading for a pixel. Blue Alliance is making their move. All right, they're going into a parking position. We're heading in on the driver period. Let's see what these bots can do. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. We're heading into the driver controlled period. Lots of action. We see the Red Alliance picking up their pixels. Blue Alliance has a pixel ready to score. Can they make it? And there's the first pixel of the game. It is a purple pixel on the backboard for the Blue Alliance, and they're going to get more. We see robots from the Red Alliance picking up their pixels in an attempt to score. Will they be able to do it? We see a white pixel. And they do it. That's another pixel for the Red Alliance. But can they make a comeback against the Blue Alliance's 28 points? We see the Red Alliance attempting to pick up more pixels. All right, the Blue Alliance seems to be looking for pixels. We see the Red Alliance getting pixels from the driver area and they attempt to place another pixel. And they do it. That's another pixel for the Red Alliance on the backboard. <laughs> All right, and we're heading into end game. We see a green pixel for the Blue Alliance on the backboard. Will we see any drones? Will we see any robots hanging? All right, there is a drone. Unfortunately, it did not touch any of the zones. All right, we see a robot from the Blue Alliance going into parking position. We see another pixel attempting to be scored for the Red Alliance. That's a third pixel. That's game. Attention in the pits and attention in the stands. If you are filming matches, we have taped off areas on the balcony in front of each field for team media. One person per team. If you are filming the match, you should be up there. You can film from the stands, but the angle's not as good. Please do not crowd along the railing because then nobody behind you can see. So we are gonna keep yeah, if you want to squat, that's okay too. But if you're close to the yellow, be nice and low so that people behind you can see. If you are up on the balcony and you are in that black box right now, if a team member who is competing in the match that's happening wants to be there to take their video, please move aside and let them film from that spot. Once again, those black boxes on the balcony are for team video. Only at DCI do you get bird's eye footage of the robot action. Speaking about wonderful video, wonderful footage, let's see that score. <laughs> it's blue. With a score of 52 to 15, the Blue Alliance takes that win. Let's see who's coming up next. Next on the field, we have team 8702. Curiosity Rovers. 
They will be alongside Team 4451, the Flying Foxes. They will be facing off against, in blue, Team 13599, Bruin Bots. Wait, wrong match. Team 5014, Future Gadget Lab as well as team two, three, three, eight, two, fifth dimension. The referees have set the stage. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! That's the start of the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do. Looks like Fifth Dimension tries to go for their pixel on the tape. Looks like the Red Alliance is preparing for their autonomous period. Let's see what they can do. Fifth Dimension going for one on the on the backboard, and they get it. And they park. Looks like we see some good scores for the Blue Alliance. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, that's the start of our driver control period. Let's see what these robots can do. Fifth Dimension going to scare, score their purple pixel on the backboard, and they get it. 1514 going for two pixels from their depot, and they get both of them. Red Alliance scores one pixel on the back backboard. Fifth. Fifth Dimension going for another pixel on the backboard. Let's see if they can get it. And they get it. Fifth Dimension getting two more pixels. Looks like their alliance partner, 1514, scoring, playing as a delivery bot. We have 5014 getting more pixels to deliver. And they get two pixels. Fifth Dimension scoring another pixel on the backdrop. Looks like the Red Alliance is getting two pixels from their depot. Is that an attachment on the field that we see? Looks like 5014 is going for another two pixels to deliver to their teammate. Let's see. Looks like two pixels on the Blue Alliance are going getting scored. Two pixels on the Red Alliance scored. Fifth Dimension going for a pixel on the red line, on the blue line. This may be the highest scoring. Fifth Dimension going, going for the hang. Oh, so close to getting their drone. Looks like the blue alliance is getting one hang. Red alliance is getting one hang. Man, this is going to be a tied match. We currently have two robots suspended from the ground. And one robot that's parked. Four, six, three, Firebird Robotics. They will be facing off against, in blue, team two, four, five, oh, eight, North Bethesda Phoenixes. Alongside team seven, six, three, one, the Lemons. And now for our score. The Blue Alliance wanted it more with 104 to 37. Our new high score for the day.
class during Chinese or? Uh, no, only, only my Chinese class. And, oh. um, sometimes I'll have electives in Chinese, like art Chinese yeah. and music in Chinese. Um, there's three languages, French, Spanish, and Spanish. So, um, You're so cute. Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The field is being set. The referees are setting the stage for another exciting match. The curtain shall rise in three, Two, one, go! All right, that sound marks the start of the autonomous period. See what those robots can do. A robot from the Red Alliance already in the parking zone. We see a robot from the Blue Alliance trying to grab a pixel, maybe in an attempt to score on the backboard. All right, and those are two pixels in the drone zone. All right, heading into the driver controlled period. Let's see some action from these robots. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, and we're off. We see some action from the Blue Alliance as they try to get some pixels from the human player area. Red Alliance is also trying to grab those pixels. All right, they're bringing it to the backboard. They're approaching. Will they be able to score a pixel? All right. We see robots from the Red Alliance grabbing more pixels, approaching the backboard. And they score. That's one pixel for the Red Alliance, first pixel of the game. And we see robots from the Blue Alliance trying to get their pixels from the human player area. They are accepting one green pixel. All right, we have, we're not seeing that much scoring going on, but Red Alliance has two pixels on their backboard, so currently they're ahead with 49 points. Will Blue Alliance be able to make a comeback? All right, there seems to be some complication with the robots. On the other hand, the Blue Alliance is bringing their pixels to the backboard. Will they be able to score in time is the question. We're approaching end game. What will these robots do? All right, and there's the whistle. Will we see any drones? Will we see any robots attempting to hang? We see robots still trying to score for the Blue Alliance. All right, there's a pixel for the Blue Alliance on the backboard. They're at three points currently. All right, will we see any robots attempting a hang? Currently, we see one robot attempting the, approaching the backboard. That's game 72 to three. And 
And coming up next, we have team six, four, one. Wait, six, four, one, seven, Blue Crew. They will be alongside team two, three, eight, 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 Frost Falcons. They will be facing off against team three, eight, nine, the Swarm. They will be accompanied alongside team one, three, three, five, three, circuit breakers. Attention teams. We have received a yellow card in this match presented to the Lemons of 7631 for an extension outside of the field. We've seen some pretty exciting matches so far. We saw a record so far for the most points. What do you think? I think it's just going to get beat. It's just going to keep going higher. There's pretty good matches that are going to happen soon, and it's just getting started from here. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, we've also seen some pretty low scores. Of course, it's pretty early in the tournament, so anything could happen. Hopefully these robots get up and started, and they're able to score some high matches today. 
and the scores are in. It will go to the Red Alliance with a score of 67 to three. So before we get ready, I know it's been a minute, so let's go ahead and say hi to them once again. We have in red, the Blue Crew, alongside the Frost Falcons. And in red, we have the Swarm, alongside Circuit Breakers. has been set the curtain shall rise in three two one go and that's the rock of the match let's see what happens in the autonomous period looks like the red blue alliance is trying to get their pixel on the tape red alliance gets both their pixels on the tape looks like red alliance also gets a pickle pixel on the backboard blue alliance trying to get a pixel on the backdrop let's see what happens Looks like two teams are currently parked. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the start of the driver control period. Let's see what these robots can do on their own. So basically, we have Blue Crew scoring one on the backdrop. Blue Crew gets a second one. Looks like they're going to score on the backdrop as well. Their alliance partner trying to get to their pixels from the their hub. Circuit Breakers trying to get their pixels down. Their alliance partner gets one on the backdrop. Looks like we currently have three on the red alliance backdrop, and we're about to have two on the blue alliance backdrop. Blue Crew gets Blue Crew going for two on the backdrop. And looks like Blue Crew gets a mosaic with three different colors. Blue Crew going for two different, two more pixels. Blue Crew gets one. Looks like they're going to go score that one. Circuit Breaker is going for their pixels from the hub. Looks like Blue Crew is going for a mosaic. Blue Crew going for another Pixels. Blue Crew gets two more. They're really trying to go for a mosaic there. Looks like their alliance partner gets one Pixel. And that's the start of the end game period. Let's see which teams can hang or which teams can shoot their drones. Blue Crew gets one in the second stage. Looks like they're going for the hanging as well. Circuit Breaker's hanging as well. Blue Crew has a 
special hanging mechanism with their measuring tapes on both sides. Looks like Blue Crew is now hanging. Striker Breaker is also hanging. And that's the end of the match. Coming up next, we have team two, four, one, six, three, illuminate.exe. They will be partnered alongside team two, two, zero, two, two, electric eagles. And in blue, we have team 22202, infinity.exe. They will be partnered alongside team 23807, clock stoppers 512. For all those that noticed, we have two EXE teams here competing. I can't wait to see what this sibling rivalry does. And the score will be Red Alliance with a score of 101 to 87. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? The stage has been cleared. The curtains are ready to rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off. We see the Blue Alliance having some action in the autonomous phase. We see one of the robots from the Blue Alliance with two pixels. All right, and we see the Red Alliance approaching the backboard, same as the Blue Alliance, and there's a pixel. That's gonna get them a lot of points, five to 15. We're heading into the driver 
period. All right. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, here's where the real action begins. We see the Blue Alliance approaching the backboard in an attempt to score. Red Alliance is picking up their pixels from the human player area. Looks like they're trying to score Blue Alliance. And there's another pixel. They're very close to making a mosaic. All right, and they're look going also for a purple pixel. All right, there's another, there's another pixel for the Blue Alliance. Will the Red Alliance be able to catch up? It is seven to 59. All right, we're seeing another pixel for the Blue Alliance. Will they be able to score it is the question. The Red Alliance starts collecting their pixels from the human player area. Robots from the Blue Alliance definitely have a very interesting way of retrieving the pixels. It seems to be working, though. Will Red Alliance be able to make a comeback? We're still a couple seconds away from the end game. This is a very important game. We have two sister teams here. This is gonna be very exciting. All right, that's two more pixels for the Blue Alliance. Man, they are on a roll. We see another pixel for the Red Alliance in the human player area. They're approaching the backboard. All right, that's end game. Let's see. Can we see any drones? Can we see any robots trying to hang? Looks like a robot from the Blue Alliance is attempting a hang. Oh, and they do it. There's a hang. And the other robot from the Blue Alliance also attempts to hang. We haven't seen any drones yet, but the hanging alone will get you enough points. All right, will the Red Alliance be, be able to hang? Last game. And coming up next, we have eight, five, three, five, Shark Bites, alongside Team 519, Epsilon Delta 2. And in blue, we have Team 17709, Bulldogs Tech. They will be partnered alongside Team 4451, the Flying Foxes. Time to get our score from the last match. It will go to the Blue Alliance with a score of 103 to 15. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? The stage is clear. The field is set. We're going on in three, two, one, go! That's the start to our autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do on their own. Looks like one robot from the Red Alliance has moved. Looks like the other robots are thinking of what to do. Other teams are thinking of what to do in the dri driver control period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And we're moving on to the driver control period. Let's see what these drivers can do now. Looks like the blue lines immediately goes to the backdrop, trying to scare, score theirs. They score one purple in the backdrop. 
Looks like there's a drone on the field before endgame. That's surprising. Looks like we have a team on the blue alliance going for you to get their pixels delivered. Looks like we have the Blue Alliance trying to get their two pixels. We have the Red Alliance going for two pixels in their hub. Looks like all robots are thinking of what to do. Let's see what they're able to do. We have Red Alliance working on getting their pixels. Blue Looks like Red Alliance is about to get their pixel. Oh, so close. Looks like. <laughs> and that's the start to our end game. Let's see what teams can launch their drones and let's see what teams can hang. That was a cool stun. And we have a team on the Red Alliance that's hang, hung successfully. And with the conclusion of that match, we're going to hear a word about everyone's favorite time of the day, lunch. Everybody else ready to hear about lunch, right? I know we're hungry for robots, but let's also learn about some food. Attention in the stands and in the pits. If you are setting up a lunch, like you brought your own food for a team, you should be eating in the cafeteria. The fastest way to get to the cafeteria, go down the stairs, that are near the concession stand, walk across the soccer field. The door to the cafeteria is propped open with a big orange cone. You can also get there going through the building. Just keep walking the only direction you can walk in the building and you'll eventually see it. But the soccer field is quick and it's not raining anymore. So walk across the soccer field to find the cafeteria space. There's lots of big tables where you can relax and set up all your food. Thank you. All right. As we get ready for another wonderfully excited round of matches. Up first in red, we have team two, four, five, oh, eight. North Bethesda Phoenixes. They will be partnered alongside team one, three, two, seven, oh, electric slide. In blue, we have team eight, seven, zero, two, Curiosity Rovers, and team seven, six, three, one, the Lemons. But let's get that score from that last match. The match will go to the Blue Alliance. With a score of 39 to 31, this one was really close. The field is set. The stage is ready in three, two, one, go! 
All right, and we're off into the autonomous period. We see three robots moving around. Will they be able to get an advantage in this period? Red Alliance, get some pixels. Will they approach the backboard and be able to score? We're closing in on the driver controlled period. Let's see what these drivers can do. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, and we're off. The Blue Alliance immediately jumps into action, heading towards the backboard. Let's see if they can score some pixels. And there's a pixel for the Red Alliance. That'll get them to three points. There's another pixel, two pixels for the Blue Alliance, one purple and one yellow. Scores currently three to six, favoring the blue team. All right, we see some collisions. We see the Red Alliance grabbing their pixels from the human player area. Will they be able to make a comeback? It could be anyone's game. Right, we see them moving towards the backboard. Will they be able to score is the question. All right, they attempt to score. And there's a purple pixel for the Red Alliance on the backboard. That'll put them to six points. Blue Alliance grabbing more pixels from the human player area. It's currently 6-16, six to 16, favoring the Blue Alliance, but Red Alliance is very close behind. The end game will decide a lot about who wins this match. All right, and there's the end game. Will we see any drones? Will we see any hanging? All right, there are some robots still tr attempting to score on the backboard. All right, we see one robot from the Red Alliance attempting a hang. Will they be able to pull it off this question? And from the Blue Alliance, that is a completed hang. All right, this will be a very, very close game, folks. And coming up next, Team 14607, Robot Uprising will face off alongside Team 24463, Firebird Robotics. And in blue, coming up to see you will be Team 13599, Bruin Bots. They will be partnered alongside Team 23382, Fifth Dimension. And the score from that last match will be the Blue Alliance with a score of 42 to 34.
Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? The stage has been set. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! And that marks the start of the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do on their own with no driver. Looks like both Blue Alliance robots have gotten on the move. Let's see what they can score. Fifth Dimension goes and scores one on, their t on the tape. Looks like the Red Alliance is on pause until the driver control period. Let's see what they can do. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the start to the driver control period. Let's see what the drivers can do controlling their own robots. Fifth Dimension scores one on their backdrop. Looks like Bruinbots is trying to get theirs. Bruinbot gets one on their robot. Fifth Dimension going for theirs too. Robot Uprising trying to get there too. Looks like they have one already in their robot. Let's see if they can go score it. Fifth Dimension goes for two on their robot. Bruin Box delivering two to the Fifth Dimension. Fifth Dimension scoring one, scoring another one, going for another one. Robot Uprising trying to get one in their intake. Let's see what they can do with it. Fifth Dimension scoring another one on their backdrop. Blue currently has six pixels on their backdrop. Let's see what they can do. Let's see how many more they can add. Fifth Bruin Bot's going to deliver two more to Fifth Dimension. Robot Uprising trying to get two in theirs. Fifth Dimension going for a mosaic. Looks like that's the start to the end game period. Let's see what these teams can do. Either hang or if they can sh sh uh, shoot their drone. Fifth Dimension gets a drone in the second stage. And they're going for the hang. Let's see what they can do. Looks like Fifth Dimension still getting the hang off. Let's see what they can do. Coming up next will be Team 7519 Cougar Botics alongside Team 5014 Future Gadget Lab. And in blue, we have 21828 Deal Dynamos alongside 5225. Box tick. The scores will be Blue Alliance with a score of fifty two to eight. The stage has been set. The teams anxiously await.
the beginning of the match. The zebras have gathered and the bumblebee is going to buzz in shortly. The Zebras are resetting the field. The stage has been set. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off. You see a lot of action in the autonomous period. Blue Line's already going to the backboard, attempting to score. They're in the parking position. Five, two, two, fives, grabbing, is trying to grab a pixel with the possibility of scoring it. Not seeing much action currently, but we're heading into the driver period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, and here we go. We see Red Alliance on fire going towards the backboard. Will they be able to score those two pixels they have? We also see the Red Alliance collecting more pixels from the, dri from the driver area. Blue Alliance is also attempting to grab the pixels. Hopefully they'll be able to score. All right, we see a lot of action. What will these robots and their drivers be able to do? We're still a while away from end game. This is a very close game. And there is the first pixel of the game, folks, on the backboard for the Blue Alliance. That'll put them to nine points. All right, and there's a pixel for the Red Alliance as well. That brings them to five points. We still see the Red Alliance picking up more pixels. They, uh, they're attempting to score more pixels into the backboard. Red Alliance is at 35 points. Blue Alliance is at nine. But there's still a while until the game ends. Blue Alliance still has a big chance to make a comeback. Red Alliance is scoring more pixels. There's another pixel for their backboard. All right, and that's the whistle for end game. We see a drone in the air, unfortunately does not make any of the zones. Another drone appears. All right, will we see any robots attempting to hang? We have 14 more seconds left. It looks like a robot from the Blue Alliance is attempting to hang. Will they be able to pull it off in time? You see the Red Alliance attempting to score more pixels. That is a hang, that is a completed hang. That will give them a lot of points. That's game. And coming up for our last match before lunch, on the one side, we have team four, four, five, one, the Flying Foxes. They will be partnered alongside team three, eight, nine, the Swarm. And on the blue, we have team two, four, one, six, three, illuminate.exe. They will be partnered alongside team one, seven, seven, zero, nine, Bulldogs Tech. Our score from the last match is in. It will go to the Red Alliance with a score of 46 to 37. As a reminder, we are in our last two matches. Once again, this is our last match on the one side, then we have one more on the two side. I know y'all are hungry for some robots, 
Well, some of the people that work on the robots are hungry for some lunch. And let's start the match in three, two, one, go! That's the start to the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do. Red Alliance already on the move, and they get their, looks like they got their pixel, purple pixel on the tape. And they're going to the backdrop. Let's see if they can score their yellow pixel. Oh, so close. Looks like the rest of the robots are thinking of what to do during the teleop period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Now we got the start with the driver control period. Let's see what these robots can do. Looks like all robots are on the move. Red Alliance going to score their pixels on the backdrop. Blue Alliance getting their pixels from the hub. The hub. Blue Alliance gets one pixel. Red Alliance scores one on the backdrop. Blue Alliance going to get another pixel. Blue Alliance scores one pixel on their backdrop. Looks like we have Red Alliance going for their pixel. They're making their way to the backdrop. Blue Alliance scoring another one on the backdrop. Two on the Blue Alliance, one on the Red Alliance. Let's see what these robots can do for the remain remainder of the match. We're, we're approaching the uh, end game period. 45 seconds left until end game. Red Alliance is getting one pixel in the robot. Looks like they're trying to score it. Blue Alliance trying to get their pixels out of the hub. And that's the start to the end game period. Let's see which robots can score their drones and which robots can hang. Looks like we have Red Alliance try attempting to score one, one more pixel. One Red Alliance robot parked. Both Blue Alliance robots happen to be parked. Red Alliance going for the park. And that's the end of the match. All right, and as we get ready for our last match before lunch, let's go ahead and meet our teams. Coming up first in red is team two, two, zero. Two two zero two two electric E 
Eagles. Alongside them will be 6417 Blue Crew. Over in blue, we have coming to you team 8535 Shark Bites. They will be partnered alongside team 24508 North Bethesda Phoenixes. Let's see our scores for match number 13. Red Alliance with a score of 51 to 18. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? The stage is set. The curtains are clear. In three, two, one, go! And we're off. We see robots from both the Blue and Red Alliances making their way during the autonomous period. <clears throat> They're approaching the backboard. Will they be able to score? And there is a yellow pixel for the Red Alliance. That'll put them at 45 points. All right, we see two robots in their parking position. One more robot from the Blue Alliance, maybe attempting to grab a pixel. All right, there's the driver Drivers, period. Pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And here we go. We see Red Alliance zooms into, a into action. They're ready to score some points on the backboard. They're scooping up the pixels. We see a purple pixel. What will they do with it? There is another pixel on the Red Alliance backboard. That'll put them at 56 points. Can the Blue Alliance make a comeback? We see the Blue Alliance. They have a purple pixel in their possession. What will they do with it? We see the Red Alliance attempting to score on their backboard. They're picking up more pixels. Meanwhile, the Blue Alliance also picks up pixels from their human player area. Currently, the score is 58 to 9, favoring Red Alliance. All right, we see a third pixel. Uh, for, unfortunately, it does not make it to the backboard. <clears throat> More pixels are being placed in the human player area for the Blue Alliance. What will they do with them? We see the Blue Alliance scooping up more pixels. We see a pixel. There's a third pixel on the Red Alliance backboard. That'll put them to 90 points. Blue Alliance is still picking up pixels. Blue Alliance is approaching the backboard. They could be able to score right now. All right, we're approaching end game. A drone is fired. Unfortunately, does not make it to the zones. Will we see any robots hanging? One robot from the Red Alliance starts to try to hang. It's a very interesting mechanism they're using, but we've seen it work in the past. All right, one robot from the Blue Alliance has hanged. Another robot from the Red Alliance as well. This is the highest scoring match we've seen so far. That's game. As we await the score from our final match, we would like to inform you all once again, 
Teams, there is no eating in the pits. There is no eating in the pits. You ready? And that final score will be... Red Alliance with our new high score, 120 to 31. And remember, once again, our first match will begin at one. Teams, if you are in match number 15, you should be queued by 1250. Once again, if you are in match 15, you should be queued by 1250. Those teams are one, three, three, five, three, two, three, three, eight, two, seven, six, three, one, and two, 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 zero, two. Teams, if you ordered the boxed lunches, the pre-order lunch from the food truck, the food truck is out in front of the school building near the wall of plants where many of you came in. Also to all teams, if you didn't order lunch but you want ice cream, there's also an ice cream truck. There is also an ice cream truck out the front of the building. It will be here probably until around 3 p.m. today. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream, ice cream. We hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful lunch. We can't wait to see everyone back here at one o'clock once again. Teams, if you are in match number 15, you should be queued by 1250. Every generation has a defining moment, a chance to make a difference. This is our time. We need technology to bring us together. To enable a world where everyone and everything is intelligently connected. Now is the time for a new era of innovation. To reinvent business. To reimagine our cities. To transform industries. To drive the future of transportation. We are delivering the products and solutions to accelerate momentum. Unleashing the full potential of 5G and AI across industries to create a new era of global innovation. So join us. Our mission is clear. And the time and the time and the time is now. Is now. Is now.
Can we get team one three three five three two three three eight two seven six three one and two 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 zero two on the field for their first match after lunch? Can Once again, teams, we're trying to restart in five minutes. If you know you are in match number 15, it's your time to take center stage. So first up, in red, we're going to need team one, three, three, five, three, circuit breakers. And team two, three, three, eight, two, fifth dimension to make their way to the stage. And in blue, we have team seven, six, three, one, the Lemons, and their partner, two, 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 zero, two, infinity dot E X E. Once again, all four teams, we need you ready to go in the next four minutes. Reminder teams, just because we took a break, safety did not. Put your glasses on. If you can look down and see the black carpet, you should have glasses on. Make sure that your teammates, your coaches, and mentors know you must have your safety glasses on if you are on the black carpet. Match 16, we need you all to start queuing as well. If you are in match 16, we need you all to start queuing. Match 16, we need 7519. Five two two five 
two, three, eight, 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 and one, four, six, zero, seven to all make your way to queuing on side two. Once again, now that we have all four teams at the stage, let's say a warm welcome to Circuit Breakers alongside Fifth Dimension in red. Over in blue, we have Infinity.exe alongside the Lemons. Let's get ready for another wonderful and exciting match. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? The stage is set. The curtains will rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off to the start of the autonomous period. Let's see what these teams are able to do. Looks like all robots have gotten a start. Blue Alliance already ready. Looks like they're placing their pixel on the tape. Red Alliance, both teams on the Red Alliance placing their pixels. Blue Alliance going for a drop on the backstage. Red Alliance going for a drop on their backstage. Looks like both Red Alliance robots are parked. One Blue Alliance robot is parked. Pretty good start to the end of autonomous period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the start of the driver control period. Let's see what, what these teams are able to do with their drivers. Red Alliance picks up a pixel. Infinity goes for a pixel on the backstage. Let's see if they can get it. Red Alliance gets a pixel on their backstage. Blue Alliance gets a pixel on their backstage. Red Alliance going for another pixel on their backstage, and they get it. Red Alliance getting pixels from their hub. Blue Alliance getting pixels from their hub. Infinity gets a pixel in their robot. Red Alliance going to place one purple pixel. Let's see if they can get it. And they get it. Blue Alliance, Infinity gets one. Gets two on their, on their backstage. Looks like Blue Alliance also has a mosaic created. Red Alliance going for their mosaic. Let's see what they're missing. Two, three, three, eight, two. Going to finish their pixel. And they got it. They got one mosaic. Let's go. Red Alliance gets two white pixels on their backstage.
Looks like Blue Alliance is parked in their, uh, in their backstage parking spot. Red Alliance is going for their purple pos going for a purple pos <laughs> pixel to make their mosaic. Looks like Red Alliance has two mosaics created and they're going for the hang. Infinity.exe scores scores a drone in their second stage. Looks like Infinity is going for the hang. Both teams on the Red Alliance is going for their hang. Let's see what teams can get it done. Looks like we have three robots going for the hang right now. All robots, three robots are now suspended from the ground. One robot is parked. And that's the end of the match. And coming up next, we have team 7519 Cougar Botics alongside 5225 Fox Tech. They will be facing off against Team 23888 Frost Falcons alongside Team 14607 Robot Uprising. And the score will be the Red Alliance with our new high score of 154 to 80. Are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The stage has been cleared. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off into the autonomous period. We see 5225 going into the parked position. No pixels yet, but it's early in the game. Closing in on the driver period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. We see action from both the Red Alliance and the Blue Alliance as they go to their driver player zones and pick up their pixels. One four six oh seven approaching a pixel. What will they do with it? All right.
right, we see the blue alliance approaching the pixel. The red alliance is also getting pixels. They're approaching their backboard. Will they be able to score it? And there's the first pixel of the game. Green pixel for the red alliance backboard. Will blue alliance be able to make a comeback? 16 to zero. Red Alliance now has two pixels on the board and is scooping up a third one. We see bots from the Red Alliance picking up pixels. We're approaching end game. Will we see any drones, any hanging robots? We see a drone, unfortunately it gets out of the zone. Five, five, two, two, five, approaching the hang. Will they be able to do it? There's three pixels on the Red Alliance backboard. That's game. Coming up next, it will be, I the winner was, the Red Alliance. With a score of 48 to 10. The next teams coming up to the stage will be Team two, four, four, six, three, Firebird Robotics. They will be partnered alongside Team eight, seven, zero, two, Curiosity Rovers. Going up against in blue, Team two, one, eight, two, eight, Deal Dynamos, and Team five, one, nine. Epsilon Delta 2.
teams, remember, keep your glasses on. Red Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The field is being cleared. The stage has been set. The curtains will rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off to the start of the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do without their drivers controlling them. 21828 places one in their parking station and looks like they're parked. Looks like all the other robots are thinking of their plan for the driver control period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three. Two, one. And that's the start to our driver control period. 8702 gets a quick start off. Looks like they're going to place their autonomous pixels on the backstage. 21828 goes for their first pixel. Looks like we got one pixel on the Red Alliance backstage. 519 trying to get their pixels. 8702 gets another pixel. Looks like we got another pixel on the Red Alliance backstage. We got one on the Blue Alliance backstage as well. Looks like all teams are reloading on their pixels. 8702 gets another pixel. And they got another one on the backstage for the Red Alliance. 21828 getting another pixel. Let's see if they can get it all the way to the end. Five one nine trying to get their pixel. Twenty one eight two eight gets a pixel. Looks like they're trying to place it on the backstage, and they get it. Another pixel on the Blue Alliance backstage. Eighty seven oh two getting their pixel. Let's see if they can get it on the backstage, and they got another one on the backstage. So close to that mosaic. And that's the end game period. Let's see what these robots can, which robots can hang and which robots can score their drone. Looks like 8702 is going for the hang. And they get it. Looks like Blue Alliance is parked up in the backstage. Up next, we have team 23807, Clock Stoppers 512. Alongside 13599, Bruin Bots. And in blue, we have 13270, Electric Slide. They're alongside 5014. Future Gadget Lab. And our winners are... <laughs> the Red Alliance. With a score of 32 to 20.
the stage is set, the curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off into the autonomous phase. We see Blue and Red Alliance both moving. Blue Alliance attempts a pixel, does not make it. Red Alliance, one of the robots is getting into parking position. We're heading into the driver period. What will these robots do? Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Here we go. We see both the Blue and Red Alliance moving. Blue Alliance is off to a fast start. They approach the backboard in an attempt to score. Can they do it? And that is the first pixel of the game for the Blue Alliance on their backboard. The Red Alliance also has a pixel in their possession. Approaching the backboard, will they be able to score it? Blue Alliance attempts to score again. Human players are putting the pixels for the Red Alliance into their sections. The score is currently to five to 35, but Red Alliance could make a comeback in the end game. Blue Alliance scores a purple pixel for their team. Red Alliance scores a yellow pixel for their team. Red Alliance is receiving more pixels, as is the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance scores another white pixel on their backboard. There are currently two pixels, one white, one yellow, on the Red Alliance backboard. All right, we're in end game now, folks. <coughs> we see a drone in the air. Unfortunately, it does not make it to the zones. Will these robots be able to hang? We see a blue alliance robot attempting to hang 13270. Will they be able to do it? We see another drone in the air. And that is a hang for the Blue Alliance with one second left. That's game. Up next, we have in red, team two, three, three, eight, two, fifth dimension. Alongside team 24508, oh North Bethesda Phoenixes. They will be going against team 24163, Illuminate.exe. They will be partnered with team 7519, Cougar Botics. And time for our score from the last match. It's blue with a score of 90 to 56.
Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? The stage is set. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! And that's the start to our autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do without a driver. All robots have gotten a good start to this uh, to the match. 389 scores their purple pixel on the tape. 23382 going for one on the backstage. 289 gets one on their backstage for the Blue Alliance. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. That's the start to our driver control period. Let's see what these robots can do with their drivers. Two, three, three, eight, two goes for one on the backstage. Two, eight, nine picking one up. Let's see if they can place it on the backstage. Two, three, three, eight, two gets one on the backstage. And they're getting another one. 23382 gets another one on the backstage. 23382 gets another pixel in the robot. Let's see if they can score it on the backstage. 2-8-9 and they did. 289 going for their pixel. Looks like all teams on the field have to pick up their pixels and reload. Two eight nine gets their pixel. Let's see if they can place it on their backboard. Two three three eight two getting their pixel. Let's see if they can place it on their backstage. And they do. Looks like two three three eight two is playing it strategically to get a back to get a mosaic. Two eight nine attempting to score their pixel on the backstage. Two three three eight two going for their pixel. Looks like that's the start to the end game period. Let's see what these teams can do. Looks like there's one drone that got shot into the the first stage. Two three three eight two is going for the hang. Two four one six three scores one on their backstage. Looks like both teams in the blue alliance are going for the park. Coming up next, we have Team 17709, Bulldogs Tech, alongside Team 6417, Blue Crew. They will be facing off against Team 5225, Fox Tech. Alongside team two 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 zero two infinity dot e x e. Our scores are coming in. It's red. With a score of ninety to thirty nine, the Red Alliance takes this victory.
the stage is clear, the field is set, the curtains will rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off into the autonomous period. All right, we can see that 5225 has two pixels. There is one pixel for the Red Alliance, first pixel of the game. Will they be able to score some more? We see a robot getting into parking position. We are approaching into the driver period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. There's a lot of action happening right now. Blue Lines is a very fast start, and so does Red. They score second pixel. They're very close to getting an orange mosaic. One seven seven oh nine is grabbing more pixels. Two 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 oh two is grabbing more pixels. Third pixel scored for the Red Alliance. Fourth. That is a mosaic for them. That will score them points. It puts them up to seventy two. They have put themselves in the parking position currently. Pixel has been dropped by the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance is grabbing more pixels from their human player area. All right, we see another pixel for the Red Alliance on their backboard. There's another mosaic. Red Alliance is on a roll with 92 points. Will Blue Alliance be able to make a comeback? Blue Alliance is very close to mosaic. And there it is. Mosaic for Blue Alliance. This is such an intense game, folks. More pixels on the red backboard. We are approaching into end game. Let's see what these robots can do. There is a drone scored for the Blue Alliance in the second zone. That will get them a lot of points. Another drone fired, did not make it. Two robots going in, three robots going in for the climb. Will all of them be able to make it? We see two robots elevated. Four more seconds. Three robots elevated. And that is game. And as we get ready for match 21, let's meet our teams. Team four, four, five, one, the Flying Foxes. Alongside team one, three, three, five, three, circuit breakers. They will be facing off against team two, four, four, six, three, Firebird Robotics. Alongside team seven, five, one, nine, Cougar Botics. with a score of 139 to 89.
stage has been set. The curtains are set to rise in three, two, one, go! That's the start to the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do. Looks like the Red Alliance is moving up and running. And running. They got one pixel on the tape. And looks like Circuit Breakers is going for another one on the backstage. Looks like Circuit Breakers is parked. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the start to the tell you period. All robots on the move. Let's see what these teams can do. Circuit Breaker's going for their yellow pixel. They're trying to make a circuit. Seven five one nine going for a pixel on the blue alliance backstage. Circuit breakers getting their pixels from their hub. Seven five one nine going for another pixel on from their hub. Circuit breakers going to score another pixel on their alliance hub. Circuit Breakers going for two yellows on their backstage and they get it. <laughs> Circuit Breakers going in for another one, another pixel. Looks like that's the start of the end, end game period. Let's see what these robots can do. Circuit Breakers going for another two pixels. Circuit Breakers gets one, gets their drone in the stage one. Circuit Breakers going for the hang. And that's the end of the match. Up next, we have in red team one four. 607 Robot Uprising alongside Team 21828 Deal Dynamos. They will be facing off against Team 13270 Electric Slide alongside Team 85. Three, five, shark bites. The scores are in favor of the Red Alliance. With a score of 86 to 40, the Red Alliance takes that win.
Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The stage has been set. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! And we're off into the autonomous period. 21828 goes directly to the driver phase. One three two seven zero oh, attempts to pick up a pixel. Two robots in the parked position. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, into the driver phase. 13270 oh, goes directly to the backboard for the Blue Alliance. And they score their first pixel for the Blue Alliance. That'll put them to 29 points. We see 14607 oh, coming to retrieve a pixel from the human player area. 8535 is also by the backboard, attempting to score. Red Alliance has a pixel on their board. So does Blue Alliance. They're 12 to 30, favoring Blue Alliance. Will Red Alliance be able to make a comeback? We're still pretty early in the game. Two one eight two eight retrieving more pixels from the human player area. Blue Alliance does the same. We are closing in on endgame now, folks. Will these bots be able to pull it off? Two one eight two eight attempts to score a pixel for the Red Alliance. Will they be able to do it? And that is a second pixel for the Red Alliance. Bring them to 25. That is end game, folks. Will we see any drones? Will we see any hanging robots? Eight, five, three, five prepares for the hang. Will they be able to do it in time? They're hanging, they're hanging. The other robot from the Blue Alliance also hangs. Two hanging robots, robots for the Blue Alliance. And that's game. Coming up next, in red, two, three, eight. Eight, eight, Frost Falcons. Alongside one, three, five, nine, nine, Bruin Bots. They'll be facing off against team two, three, eight, zero, seven, Clock Stoppers. And eight, seven, zero, two, Curiosity Rovers. And time for our score from the last match. It's blue. With a score of 50 to 47, this match came down to the wire.
Teams, once again, keep your glasses on at all times. Red Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? This is qualification, match number 23 out of 30. What story will we tell in this round on center stage? The stage has been set. The curtain will rise in three, two, one, go! That's the start to the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do. Immediately a Blue Alliance robot goes and parks. Bruin Bots does the same. Looks like they have other plans in mind though. And that's the start to the teleop period. Looks like all robots are on the move. Blue Line scores two on their backstage. And they score another one from 8702. Bruinbots going for one. Bruinbots tries to score one on their backstage. Looks like all teams are trying to reload on their pixels. Bruin Bot's going to try to score one on their backstage, and they do it successfully. 8702 trying to go score two, and they get both of them. Looks like the Red Alliance team has gotten two from their shovel design from the backstage, trying to score on the backstage. Bruinbot scores one on the backstage. Two, three, eight, three, eight, trying to score one on their backstage. Eighty-seven oh two going for two on their backstage. Looks like end game has started. Let's see which robots are able to hang. Eighty-seven oh two has gotten hang. Both robots on the blue alliance are now currently suspended from the ground. Two three eight 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 three eight is now parked in the red alliance backstage. And that's the end of the match. And as we await the score, we know you want more. Coming up next in red will be 7631, the Lemons, alongside Team 5014, Future Gadget Lab. They will be going up against Team 519 Epsilon Delta 2. Alongside Team 22022 Electric Eagles. And the score will be 
to the blue team. The Blue Alliance takes this win with a score of 53 to 25. Are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The stage is set. The scene is green. We go live in three, two, one, go! And here we go. The Red Alliance is off to a fast start. Already in parking position. 5014, heading towards the backboard. Will they attempt to score? Looks like they're going for it. Will they be able to do it? That's two pixels for the Red Alliance on their backboard. That will put them to 15 points. Driver, Game is currently tied. your controllers. Three, two, one. And into the driver period. Blue Lines is off to a very fast start. They go to the human player area to get their pixels. 5014, going for some more scoring. That's a white pixel on the Red Alliance backboard. 22022, grabbing a pixel from the human player area. Red Alliance continues to score. They have four pixels on the backboard. They attempt to score, but they're still very far ahead. 5014 just on fire, pixel after pixel. 7631 going to collect more pixels. This is a very intense game, a lot of action. 7631 going to the human player area. 5014, not close behind. Blue Alliance collects more pixels from the human player area. They're ready to score. We're heading into the end game, folks. Let's see if these robots can shoot any drones. And there's a drone in the third zone for Blue Alliance. That is moment momentous. That might keep them in the game. Blue Alliance goes in for the hang. Red Alliance shoots a drone into the second zone. Will Blue Alliance be able to complete this hang? And that is game, folks. Up next, making their way to center stage for qualification number 25 in red. Two, four, five, oh, eight, North Bethesda Phoenixes. Alongside two, 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 zero, two, infinity.exe. They will be facing off against team four, four, five, one, the Flying Foxes. Alongside Team 7519, Cougar Bodics. Our score from the last match will be the Red Alliance with a score of 50 to 40.
Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? And now, coming to center stage, the curtains shall rise in three, two, one, go! That's the start of the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do without a driver. Looks like Infinity.exe is on the move. And they place their pixel on the tape. Looks like they're going for one on the backstage as well. Can they get it? And they get it. And they also parked. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the start of the tell you period. Let's see what these drivers can do. Looks like both teams on the Blue Alliance are going to get their, uh, their pixels. Looks like team four, four, five, one. Four, four, five, one goes for one on their backstage. Blue Alliance trying to get one on their backstage. Infinity.exe is getting, is going for one on their backstage. And they score two. Team 7519 scores one on the Blue Alliance backstage. Looks like all teams are reloading on their pixels. 24506 looks like they're currently stopped under the bridge. 7519 tries to get one on their Blue Alliance backstage. Infinity.exe reloads on their pixels and they're going to score it. Infinity.exe goes to score two pixels on their backstage. And they get it. 7519 going to their blue wing, trying to get their pixels. Infinity.exe in their blue wing, reloading on their pixels. Looks like we have four seconds until the end game. Let's see what these teams can do. And that's the start of the end game period. Infinity.exe looks like they're gonna go for these last pixels. Infinity.exe going for the hang. Looks like, what, let's see what other teams are going for the hang or the drone. Looks like one team has already scored a drone on the back, on the second stage. Infinity.exe is currently suspended off the ground. And Blue Alliance robots are both parked in their backstage, as well as the one Red Alliance robot. And that's the end of the match. Up next in qualification 26, we have team 13270 Electric Slide. They will be up alongside team 24163 Illuminate.exe. They will be facing off against team 24463 Firebird Robotics. They will be alongside team 6417 Blue Crew. the score from that match will be the Red Alliance with a score of 76 to 68 the Red Alliance narrowly takes out that win
defense. Are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The stage is set. The field is green. We'll be live in three, two. We'll be live in three, two, one. Go! All right, here we are in qualification 26. Both Blue and Red Alliance off to a great start. Will they attempt to, to score? There is a pixel for the Blue Alliance on their backboard. That's a really good start to the game that puts them. We're heading into the driver period of the match. Let's see what these drivers can do. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, and we're off. Blue Alliance is off to a fast start. Red Alliance trying to score a pixel. They have a yellow pixel. Blue Alliance scoring another purple pixel on their backboard. Looks like an accidental drone shoot. Red Alliance scores another purple pixel on their backboard. 26 to 36, Blue Alliance is ahead, but only by 10 points. Red Alliance retrieves pixels from their human player area, as does Blue. Red Alliance attempts to score again. Will they be able to do it? Blue Alliance, 6417 on fire. They have got a mosaic. That'll get them a lot of points, definitely. Thirty seconds until end game. What can they do in this period? Blue Alliance is very close to completing their second mosaic. Will they be able to do it in time? Red Alliance approaching the backboard. And that whistle means the start of the end game. Let's see if we can see any drones, any hangs. We see a mosaic made for the Blue Alliance. Now let's see if they can pull off the hang. We're at the end of the game, we have a hang from both the Blue and Red Alliance. And ends the game at 58 to 62. Coming up next in qualification 27, we will have team one, three, three, five, three, circuit breakers. Alongside team one, four, six, oh, seven, robot uprising. They'll be facing off against teams 17709 Bulldogs Tech and 8702 Curiosity Rovers. Our score from the last match will be <laughs> the Blue Alliance. With a score of 82 to 58, the Blue Alliance will take that win.
stage is clear. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! Start to the tell you autonomous period. One robot moving on the Red Alliance. Let's see what this robot can do. Circuit Breaker scores one on the tape. The purple one on the tape and the yellow one on the backstage. And they're parked. All the other robots thinking about their plan for a tele -op. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the start to the tele -op period. Let's see what these drivers have in mind. Circuit Breaker is going for their two pixels. 8702 going for their two pixels. Looks like 14607 is going to park in the beginning of the match. Looks like Circuit Breaker is going to get their two pixels. Robot Uprising has a different plan in mind. They're going to park in the beginning of the game. That might be the winning strategy, though. Circuit Breaker still trying to get their two pixels. 8702 looks like they're about to score their pixel. Robot Uprising dancing in the parking zone. Eighty-seven oh two trying to get their pixel. Circuit Breakers trying to get their two pixels on the backstage. Looks like they have a pretty solid plan with Robot uh, Robot Uprising. Circuit Breaker scores two pixels on the backstage. Looks like they were trying to get to Mosaic. Robot Uprising still parked. Eighty-seven oh two trying to score their two pixels for the Blue Alliance backstage. Circuit Breaker trying to reload on their two pixels. Seventeen seven zero nine navigating around the field. Looks like that's the start of the end game. Circuit Breaker is going to score their last two pixels. Then they're gonna they plan on suspending themselves. Circuit Breaker is going for their last pixel. Now they're going to go hang. Looks like 8702 is already suspended from the bridge. Circuit Breaker is going for the last second. The last second park, and they get it. And that's the end of the match. Pretty good match from both sides. Coming up next, we have teams 2 1 8 2 8. Deal Dynamos alongside team one three five nine nine Bruin Bots. They'll be facing off against teams two two zero two two Electric Eagles as well as three eight nine the Swarm. Our score from match twenty seven will be. The Red Alliance with a score of 107 to 31. The Red Alliance takes that victory. Teams, while we are in our final few matches, prepare for Alliance selection. Teams, while we are in our final few matches, prepare for Alliance selection. If you are done with your qualification matches, please make your way to the yellow podium line in the front. Once again, if you are done with all of your matches, send one representative to the yellow podium lines in front.
The score from the last match. What? I thought we did that already. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! And here we go into the 28th qualification match. We see two, one, eight, two, eight, off to a great start, moving around. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Into the driver controlled period. We see Red Alliance off to a fast start, collecting pixels. 2 2 0 oh, 2 2 approaching the backboard. Will they be able to score? Blue Alliance is approaching their backboard. Looks like they have a pixel in possession. Can they get it on there? We'll have to see. They have a yellow pixel on the backboard and a white one. That'll put them to three to eight points. Meanwhile, the Red Alliance also puts two pixels onto the board, putting them at 35 points. This last match could determine who's in the top six. Red Alliance, Blue Alliance both have three pixels on the board. We have about 30 seconds until end game. Let's see what these drivers can do. Bruin brought bot scores another pixel for the Red Alliance. It's okay, right? I believe in you. Bruin bot gets another pixel from the human player area. Go to the backboard. It's now the end game. Let's see some drones. Let's see if any robots will attempt to hang. We see Bruin bots still scoring for their team on the backboard. They are very close to Mosaic, but they might not have enough time to pull it off. We see a drone in the air. Fortunately, it did not make it to the zones. 389 still trying to score. That is game. And while we wait for that match to conclude, we have one brief announcement. Samara or Samara Malcolm, please come claim your wallet from Pit Admin. Samara or Samara Malcolm, please come claim your wallet from Pit Admin. And in our, we have our score from match 28. It goes to the Red Alliance. What a score of 50 to 16. Back to stage number one for qualification number 29. We have in red team seven, six, three, one. The Lemons, alongside 8535 Shark Bite. They'll be facing off against Team 5014 Future Gadget Lab, alongside Team 23888 Frost Falcons. Teams. Are you ready? The stage is set. The curtain shall rise in three, two, one, go! Looks like that's the start to the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do without their drivers. One robot from the Red Alliance and one robot from the Blue Alliance are both in motion. Let's see what they're able to finish and accomplish. 
team 5014 going for their pixel on the backstage. And they score it, one yellow, and let's see if they can get the purple one. Team 8535 gets one pixel in the Red Alliance backstage. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the start of the tell you up here. Let's see what these robots can do, controlled by their drivers. Team one, two, three, eight, 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 three, eight gets two pixels in their shovel. Team seven, six, three, one going for two pixels on their backstage. Five, zero, one, four trying to get their two pixels on the backstage. Red Alliance gets one on their backstage. Team 5014 reloading on their pixels. Team 8535 going for two pixels on their backstage. Looks like we have 10 seconds until the end game period. Team 5014 trying to deposit their pixels. And that's the start of the end game period. Let's see which teams launch their drones and which teams hang off of the bridge. Team 7631 trying to score their drone. Team 5014 scores two pixels in their backdrop. And that's the end of the match. As we get ready for this second to last match, once again, all teams, if you are done with your matches, Send one captain to the yellow guardrails. Once again, if you are done with all of your matches, send one captain to line up at the yellow guardrails. Coming up next in match 29 will be, oh no, this is match 30, final match. Yes, final match. Match 30, yes, I'm on the right side of the field. This is our final qualification. If you are done with your qualification matches, you should be lining up on the yellow guardrail. Our final teams shall be 519 Epsilon Delta 2 and 23807 Clock Stoppers 512. They'll be facing off against Team 23382 Fifth Dimension, as well as 5225 Fox Tech. The scores for the last match were. With a score of 42 to 21, the Red Alliance takes that victory. One more time, Samara or Samara Walker, you left your small brown wallet in the bathroom. It is at Pitt Admin, it is with me, Shane. I am briefly leaving the desk. I will keep this with me at all times. It will be in my pocket. Come find Shane, ask a red-shirted volunteer person for Shane. I have your wallet. We want to make sure we get it back to you. Thank you.
Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Our final qualification performance is about to get underway. The curtains shall rise in three, two, one, go! Here we are in all f on our final qualification match. Red Alliance goes directly to the parking spot. Blue Alliance looks like they're gonna try to score some during the autonomous period. And that is a yellow pixel for the Blue Alliance on their backboard. The score is currently five to 21, blue favored. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Here we go into the driver controlled period. Red Alliance attempts to score two pixels and they do it, one purple and one yellow pixel on their board. Blue Alliance has a similar look. Red Alliance collects more pixels from their human player area. Blue Alliance attempts, attempts to score one more pixel. They are very close to Mosaic here. One more purple pixel is all they need. They attempt to score another yellow pixel and they're able to do it very close to Mosaic. Meanwhile, Red Alliance accepts more pixels from the human player area. Looks like Blue Alliance is about to score a mosaic. Will they be able to do it? Their arm is out, out extended. Red Alliance approaches the backboard. Will they be able to do it in time? About 15 seconds until end game. Blue Alliance attempts to score a yellow pixel. Will they be able to do it? And that is end game. We see two drones fly out. Fortunately, they did not get there. Another drone. And the fourth drone shot gets into the second zone. We see Blue Alliance, both robots attempting for the hang. Will they be able to do it in time? Hmm. Both of them are able to do it. Red Alliance also has a hanging robot. And that is game. And with that, that will be the end of our qualification matches as we carefully await our referee scores. The final score will be in favor of the Blue Alliance with a score of 109 to 27.
educator. I'm a CEO. I'm building the future of dual-use tech companies. I'm a robotics professor, an engineer, and a former contestant on Survivor. I'm a manufacturing engineer. I am a builder. I'm a first alum. I'm a first alum. First, first alum. alum. I am proud to be a first alum. Every generation has a defining moment, a chance to make a difference. This is our time. We need technology to bring us together. To enable a world where everyone and everything is intelligently connected. Now is the time for a new era of innovation. To reinvent business. To reimagine our cities. To transform industries. To drive the future of transportation. We are delivering the products and solutions to accelerate momentum. Unleashing the full potential of 5G and AI across industries to create a new era of global innovation. So join us. Our mission is clear. And the time and the time and the time is now is now is now
And now it's time to move on to the elimination portion of today's event. Here's how this will work. First and foremost, we'd love to thank all of our 24 teams for showing up and participating today. But we will take the, we will end up with four alliances consisting of three teams each. Here's how we will select these alliances. First, we will create four alliances with the top four ranked players and then we will move on to the next high ranking players from the qualification matches. After the number one seed makes their selection, the next highest ranked and unpicked team will then make their selection. We will complete this process until we have four complete alliances. Each alliance will be made up of three teams. The student representative from the highest ranked alliance team on an alliance is that alliance's captain. After an alliance captain extends an invitation to join their alliance, one representative from the other team that was invited will come up and either accept or decline the invitation. There is only one rule during alliance selection. If a team declines an alliance, a, a request to become an alliance partner, they may not be selected to, I mean, they may not be invited to join any other team. They may still be their own alliance captain, but they may not be invited to join another team. For example, if team number one invites team number two and team number two accepts, teams number three and four slide up and team number five joins as the new alliance captain. But if team number one invites team number two and team number two declines, then team number two stays as an alliance captain and team number one has to pick someone else. Once we've completed this, we will begin the elimination matches which are played best two out of three with the winner advancing in each round. In the first match, alliance one will compete against alliance number four and on the second match, alliance number two will compete against alliance number three. And now time to welcome in our top four ranked teams. Starting out, in first rank, it is Team 6417 Blue Crew. Blue Crew. Up next, we have Team 2338. Two, fifth dimension. <laughs> Current third ranked team will be one, three, three, five, three, circuit breakers. <laughs> and the fourth current alliance captain will be. 5014 Future Gadget Lab. So we're getting ready to ask them who they want to pick. So, Blue Crew, it's up to you. Who is your first pick? Team 6417 graciously invites. Team 22382, Fifth Dimension. Fifth Dimension, what is your response? Team 23382 respectfully declines. And with that declination, it returns to you. Blue Crew, what will you do? Team 6417 graciously invites Team 22202, Infinity.exe. Infinity.exe, come on down. Team 22202 graciously accepts. And with that, we have our first selection. Fifth Dimension, who will you invite? Team Fifth Dimension would like to invite Team 13353 Circuit Breakers. Circuit Breakers, what is your response? Team 13353 Circuit Breakers graciously declines. And with that declination, it returns to you, Fifth Dimension. Team 2332 would like to 
uh, graciously invite Team 5014, Future Gadget Lab. Future Gadget Lab. What's your response? Team 5014 graciously declined. And with a second declination, we return back to fifth dimension. Team 23382 graciously invites 22022 Electric Eagles. Electric Eagles, come on down. Team 22022 Electric Eagle graciously accepts this invitation. And with that, we have our second alliance starting. Circuit Breakers, who do you choose? Team 13353 Circuit Breakers graciously invites Future Gadget. They've already declined. You can't invite them twice. Broombots. Bruin Bots, come on down. What is your decision? Team 13599 Bruin Bots graciously accepts. And with that, we move down to Future Gadget Lab. Who would you like to invite? Team 5014 would like to invite Team 5225. Who's 5225? Fox Tech 5225, come on down. Team 5525 graciously accepts. And with that, we return to the Blue Crew. Team 6417 graciously invites Team 23807. Oh, uh, Clock Stoppers. Clock Stoppers 512, come on down. What is your decision? Team 23807 humbly accepts this gracious offer. And with that gracious acceptance, we have our first alliance. Fifth Dimension, who's your second pick? Team 23382 graciously invites 13270. Electric Slide, come on down. What is your decision? Team 13270 Electric Slide graciously accepts. And with that acceptance, we have our second alliance formed. Circuit Breakers, who is your invitation? Team 13353 graciously invites Fox Tech. Fox Tech. Here, they've been chosen. Next one. Seven six three one. The lemons come on down. Team seven six three one graciously accepts. And with that acceptance, our third alliance has been formed. All right, what's our final pick? Team five zero one four would like to graciously. Uh, invite two, four, four, six, three. Firebird Robotics. What is your decision? Team four, four, six, three. Graciously accepts. And with that, we have our final alliance. Now, all teams, even if you did not make it into the elimination round. Please leave at least one representative here because you may win a judge's award. So please stay tuned to see if you all win a judge's award after the elimination rounds. All captains from alliances, please stand by. Our first match will be with T alliance number one and alliance number four at 320.
Williams, if you are leaving the pits, you still must have on your safety glasses until you actually clear the black carpet. Keep on your safety glasses at all times when you are in the area with black carpet. Attention in the pit. Ooh, that's loud. Samara or Samara Walker, I still have your wallet. I'm kind of assuming at this point you're not here. But if anyone knows Samara Walker, come see me, and we'll try and arrange to get her her wallet back. Thank you. Well, OK, in her wallet, you have her address. Yeah, well, I might not have it. Might have
as we go into our last five minutes before the first round of semifinal matches, we need Alliance number one and Alliance number four to make their way to the first stage. Alliance number one is captained by team six, four, one, seven, Blue Crew. Alliance number four, captained by Team 5014, Future Gadget Lab. Once again, teams, the first match will begin at 320. So we need your alliances to start queuing now. First round of semifinal match number one with Alliance number one and Alliance number four will commence in one minute. The buzzer will sound in one minute. As we get ready to start this first qualification match off, we have in red, the Blue Crew, alongside Infinity.exe, facing off against Future Gadget Lab, alongside BoxTech.
Attention teams, your engineering notebooks are available for pickup. Come to Pit Admin if you would like your engineering notebook back anytime before you leave today. Once again, all teams, you worked so hard to make your portfolios. Go to Pit Admin to pick up your portfolio. Go to Pit Admin to pick up your team portfolio. match it's the blue crew versus future gadget tech the stage is clear we go live in three two one go all right we're starting off with the first semi-final match one let's see how these robots do blue alliance approaching the backboard and an attempt to score they have one purple pixel there as does Red Alliance have a yellow pixel on their backboard. A lot of action happening right now. We are approaching the driver period. Let's see what these robots can do. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And we're off. Red Alliance has a fast start. They attempt to score more pixels. Can they do it? That's a purple pixel for the Red Alliance on their backboard. They are currently at 76 points. Can Blue Alliance make a comeback? We see another pixel on the Blue Alliance backboard. Red Alliance attempting to score a yellow pixel, it seems. Blue Alliance is able to score two yellow pixels. They are very close to Mosaic. It looks like the blue is in the lead. We still have about 30 seconds till end game. Blue Alliance is accepting pixels from the human player area. Let's see what they'll do with them. All right, that is a mosaic for the Red Alliance with the purple pixels. Looks like they're going for a yellow mosaic as well. Blue Alliance is very close to assembling a mosaic themselves. Red Alliance places a white pixel on their backboard. Blue Alliance has a green and yellow pixel. That makes a mosaic for them. They might be back in the game. Let's see how these teams do an end game though. <laughs> It looks like uh, the Blue Alliance has lost one of their airplanes and can't launch it. Two red airplanes have been fired. Neither of them made it to the zone. Let's see if these robots can hang. We already have one hanging robot from the Blue Alliance. And maybe two hanging robots from the Red Alliance? We'll have to see. There's about five seconds left. And both of them are elevated from the ground. That's game. And as we await the referee's decision, coming up first in semifinal two will be Alliance Two led by Fifth Dimension. And they will be facing off against Circuit Breakers. But back to our score from the first qualification semifinal, 
is the Red Alliance with a score of 136 to 69. The Red Alliance takes their first point. In red, we have Fifth Dimension alongside Electric Eagle. And in blue, we have Circuit Breakers alongside Bruin Bots. This is Alliance number two versus Alliance number three. It's time to see. stage is set the field is green we go live in three two one go going into the auto section you just know it's going to be an interesting match yes we see lots of action from the red alliance as they move towards the parking zone blue alliance is attempting to score on the backboard will they be able to complete it Red Alliance tries to score. That is a pixel. That's a pixel for the Red Alliance on the backboard, a yellow pixel. That'll set them pretty far ahead. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Heading Three, into the driving phase. Two, I can't wait to see one. what the bots do. Red Alliance off to a fast start. They're picking up their pixels, heading over to the board to put them in. Blue Alliance has their first pixel on the backboard. All right, that's a second pixel for Red Alliance, a purple pixel. A lot of action going on right now. Yes, indeed. The movement is insane. Well, we see another attempted pixel. There it is. We have two pixels for the Blue Alliance. They could get a mosaic, and we're still pretty early in the game. There is a mosaic for the Red Alliance. That's going to put them to 57 points. Can they get the second mosaic? They have a second yellow pixel in their grasp. All right, that looks like um, a faulty airplane shooter. There we go, that, there's a mosaic for the Blue Alliance with all four, three colors. Here's that bot, 2202 is out of action. Blue Alliance.
Alliance is on fire. They have a big chance of catching up to Red Alliance. And there's Endgame. Let's see if we can find any drones, any hanging robots. We see a drone, fortunately does not make it to the zones. This is gonna be a very close match. Oh, but Blue Alliance goes up to 62. They are ahead of Red Alliance. We see robots attempting to hang. There's about 10 seconds left. Will they be able to complete it in time? Blue Alliance second robot is in the parking position. Both robots suspended from the ground, and that's game. And while we await that score, once again for semifinal number one, match number two, we will have the blue crew in red facing off against Future Gadget Lab in blue. Here's our score from match number one, semifinal number two. It's blue! With a score of 87 to 79, Blue Alliance takes their first win. And in the red corner, we have Blue Crew alongside Clock Stoppers. And in the blue corner, we have Future Gadget Lab alongside Firebird Robotics. Let's see how this match shakes out in semifinal number one, match number two.
We've seen some really exciting matches so far. Some really, and a, a lot of varied scores. We've seen really high scores, really low scores. We're going into semifinal one, match two. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. I know a lot of people can't wait to see what comes out of it. Semi-final number two. All right, semi-final number one, match number two. The curtains are drawn. We're ready to go in three, two, one, go! And we start with semi-final one, match two. We see that both robots from the Blue Alliance and Red Alliance are active, trying to score pixels for their teams. Already, two pixels on the board for Blue Alliance and one for Red Alliance. Red Alliance moves into its parking position. We're closing in on the driver period. Let's see what the drivers can do. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, Blue Alliance off to a very fast start. Red Alliance needs to be passing pixels in between. All right, that's another pixel for Red Alliance, a purple pixel. Blue Alliance is very close to a mosaic. If they can just get one green pixel, they got it. Looks like another yellow pixel in an attempt to be scored by Red Alliance and a purple one. They are close to two mosaics. Red Alliance moves to its human player area in an attempt to accept some pixels. Blue Alliance, attempting to score, brings the pixel over to the backboard. They are accepting more pixels from their human player area. Red Alliance is attempting to score a purple mosaic. And there it is, purple mosaic for Red Alliance. Let's see if they can do the same. Yep, with the yellow, there it is. Two mosaics for Red Alliance. I'll put them to 89 points. Let's see if Blue Alliance can make a comeback. We have about 20 seconds until end game. Two more white pixels for Red Alliance. This is a very intense game, a lot of stuff happening. Blue Alliance in an attempt to a comeback, scores a pixel. Red Alliance. Scores two more white pixels, and that is the whistle for Endgame. Oh. Wow, what a show by that drone. We have a drone in the third zone for Red Alliance and in the blue zone for Blue Alliance. In the we have another drone in the third zone for the Blue Alliance. Wow, that's a lot of points they're getting. This Last game. And as we await the final score from that match, we will come back over to side number two, where we have Fifth Dimension battling out against who was it again? Ah, that's a great question. 
We have Fifth Dimension against Circuit Breakers. But our score is back. And the winner is the Red Alliance with a new high score of 161 to 70. With this second win, the Red Alliance moves on, captained by the Blue Crew. We would like to thank Future Gadget Lab for coming out and having their alliance. And once again, teams, please stand by after the finals for the closing ceremony. You may have won a judge's award. And in red, we have Fifth Dimension alongside Electric Slide. They'll be battling out against Circuit Breakers alongside the Lemons. Every generation has a defining moment. A chance to make a difference. This is our time. We need technology to bring us together. To enable a world where everyone and everything is intelligently connected. Now is the time for a new era of innovation. To reinvent business. To reimagine our cities. To transform industries. To drive the future of transportation. We are delivering the products and solutions to accelerate momentum. Unleashing the full potential of 5G and AI across industries to create a new era of global innovation. One, go! And we're off for semifinal two, match two. We're seeing a lot of action in the auto phase. All right, Red Alliance going in to try to score that yellow pixel. Fortunately, does not make it. Blue Alliance already one of the robo robots is parked. Let's see if their second robot can make it. One, three, three, five, three is attempting to score a pixel. All right, we're heading into the driver period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, and we're off. We see Red Alliance immediately going for the pixels, trying to score. They have score. They attempt to score a purple pixel, as the Blue Alliance also attempts to score a yellow pixel. They attempt more pixels. Will they be able to do it? We still have a while until end game. All right. Well, they, there's the first pixel of the game. Red Alliance is able to score a purple pixel on their backboard, followed by a yellow pixel by 13270. Oh. 
All right, and we see a green and purple pixel on Blue Alliance's backboard. They go to their human player sections in order to collect more pixels. Red Alliance is very, very close to Mosaic. All they need is a green pixel, and they got it. All right, one, three, three, five, three is attempting to score a pixel. Red Alliance also is trying to score a yellow pixel. Does not, does not work. All right, about 20 seconds until the end game. Will Blue Alliance be able to make a comeback? 55 to 39 in Red Alliance's favor. All right, two purple pixels for Red Alliance. I see them trying, attempting to score a third purple pixel. There, they got a mosaic, but now it's in the end game. All right, we see a drone from the Blue Alliance and from the Red Alliance in the first and second zones. This is quite an intense game. All right, we see two, three robots attempting to hang. One from the blue and two from the red. Will they be able to do it in time? We see two robots suspended from the ground. Not his game. And as this match comes under review, we can we can only wait for the results for semifinal number two, match number two. Our scores are ready to be posted. The winner of match two was the Red Alliance. What a score of 121 to 93. This means both teams will have a eight minute break to reset their bots, recharge their batteries, and be prepared for another exciting round. Many smart people are predicting that future careers and jobs will rapidly and continuously change. In my career, for example, most of the analytical methods used for engineering analysis have dramatically changed. Artificial intelligence is suddenly becoming a very powerful tool. It's even on the verge of becoming a tool designing tool. What happens when big data and AI become potential tool makers? What happens when natural language is applied to solid modeling and stress analysis? You might soon be able to say to your screen, design a bracket to hold this wheel, keep the deflection to less than one millimeter as the robot collides with a stiff wall at full speed. That time is near. So what will a STEM trained person do? What will we offer to society so society will love us? It's not likely to be commonly applied at technical analysis. However, uniquely human things like recognizing needs, being creative, acting on empathy, demonstrating leadership, designing beautiful things, those uniquely human characteristics will be even more valuable. So those who understand the universe and understand themselves and society will be in a very powerful and satisfied position. That's good stuff. Hi, I'm Chris Johannesson. Here in Los Angeles, I mentor FIRST Teams, 
from beginners to advanced. I encourage gracious professionalism based on what the actual words mean to me. What is a professional? Doing challenging work, using your mind and talent and education as much as using your hands. Adult professionals push very hard towards their goals. Design the product, cure the patient, earn a promotion. They are competing against their own goals. This season, help your team set internal goals. How will you measure success? A reliable autonomous? Learning a new skill? Solve problems in a methodical way. Learn all you can beforehand. For a large technical challenge, break it into smaller steps. Discuss with your teammates and seek advice from mentors. These are things that adult professionals do. Start developing these skills now. By the way, colleges will recognize your efforts. What about the gracious part? Help your teammates all you can. Favor communication, not isolation. When you enter the robotics room, show the behavior and even the language that makes others feel welcome and valued. People will notice and stay and contribute thanks to your influence. So, gracious professionalism to me means being a helpful teammate while pushing hard towards your goals. Have an exciting season. Looks like we're ready for the, looks like we're preparing for the finals match.
And as our teams start to make their way to the field, we have Fifth Dimension alongside Electric Slide going up against Circuit Breakers alongside Bruin Bots. We're currently tied at one point each. And remember to advance, it is first to two points.
Once again, for semifinal number two, match number three, we have Fifth Dimension. And leading off alongside Electric Slide. And in blue, we have Circuit Breakers alongside Bruin Bots. Red Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The stage is set. The lights will go on in three, two, one, go! That's the start to the autonomous period. Let's see what these great robots can do. Looks like Fifth Dimension drops around their tape. Their alliance partner does the same. Bruinbot drops one on the tape as well. Their alliance partner puts one on the pick on the backdrop. One robot from the blue alliance and one robot from the red alliance are now parked. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that buzzer means that's the start of the teleop period. Let's see what these teams can do. Driver controlled. Fifth Dimension going for a drop on their drop on backstage. Bruin Boss does the same on their backstage. Circuit Breakers gets one from their wing. Bruin Boss gets one from their wing. 13 270 getting their and taking their pixels. Circuit Breakers going to drop two pixels in their backdrop and create a, mo a mosaic. Looks like Fifth Dimension is also going for a mosaic. Bruinbot's going to place two, two pixels on their side. Circuit Breaker is going to pick up two pixels from their wing. We have Fifth Dimension going for a pixel, a mosaic. Fifth Dimension goes to place one pixel on the backdrop to finish their one of their mosaics. Circuit Breaker is going to uh, put two pixels on their backdrop. Bruin Bot's going to pick two pixels on their backdrop as well. Fifth Dimension going to place one one pixel on their backdrop, trying to complete that circuit. And that's the start of the end game period. Let's see what, what robots can hang and what robots can place their shoot their drones. Looks like we have one drone from the Red Alliance into the Sage 2. Fifth Dimension going for the for the hang. Their alliance partner going for the hang as well, 13270. Circuit Breaker is going for the hang on their side as well. Bruinbot's going to place place one more pixel on their backdrop. Circuit Breaker is going for the hang. All of Red Alliance is hung right now. And that's the end of the match. And as this match comes under review, let's remember the winner of semifinal number two will face off against the Blue Crew in the finals. Building a robot teaches that the universe is perfect. Mother Nature applies all of her rules all the time. She is reliable and causal. If we learn about her, we can work with her. When she surprises us, she is teaching. So a robot is a natural thing. Its behavior is totally determined by the laws of the universe. And 
The same laws apply for the whole universe, which is bigger than we humans can imagine. This sphere, for example, is a 3D model of part of the universe. Each tiny speck represents a galaxy. Now, our galaxy would be very hard to find in this cloud of specks. If you could find our speck, you'd be hard pressed to find our solar system, then our planet, then our continent, etc. Compared to the realm of the laws of the universe, we humans are the small end of nothing whittled to a fine point. Learning about the universe through your robot's behavior can teach humility. Our belief that we are the most important things ever is hard to justify. So arrogance is not appropriate. We do not own the place. We should behave as a temporary user who has a long-term good in mind. Be careful about human chauvinism. It is not good stuff.
Who's ready for the final? In the red square, we have Alliance Captain Blue Crew alongside Infinity.exe. And in the blue square, we have Fifth Dimension alongside Electric Slide. Are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? The stage has been set for finals match number one. We go live in three, two, one, go! And there you guys go. That's the start of the finals match number one, autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do on their own. So far, all robots are in action. Blue Alliance going for one on the backdrop. Red Alliance gets one on the backdrop as well. Looks like both two robots from each lines. Two robots are parked in the backstage. Looks like it's going to be a tough match for both sides. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And there you guys go. That's the start of the teleop period. Let's see what these robots can do with, while being controlled by their drivers. Looks like there's already a drone on the field. Blue Crew going for their two, two pixels. Looks like the Blue Crew has a strategy of getting mosaics. 2 3 3 8 2 goes, gets one on the Blue Alliance backdrop. Blue Crew gets two on their backdrop. Looks like all robots are loading up right now with pixels. 2 3 3 8 2 going for two yellow pixels on their backdrop. Blue Crew gets one on their backdrop.
All robots currently loading in again. Two, three, three, eight, two going for a pick, a mosaic. They get one yellow one on their backdrop. Blue crew going for a mosaic. They get two on their backdrop. Looks like Blue Crew has gotten a mosaic. Their alliance partner delivering to them. Blue Crew gets a yell another yellow one on their backdrop, trying to get that mosaic. All teams loading up on pixels right now. Blue Crew going for Blue Crew going for another pixel on the backdrop. They get two pixels on the backdrop. Looks like it's going to be a tough match. Blue Crew going for another two on the backdrop. They get another mosaic. <laughs> Looks like that's the start of the end game period. Let's see which teams are able to score drones or either hang off the bridge. 2 3 3 8 2 has gotten their attachment to hang. Blue Crew tries scoring their drone and looks like they're going to try hanging now. Looks like all four robots are trying to hang. Looks like what. And that's the end of finals match number one. What an exciting first round in finals match number one of DCI qualifier number two. While this match is under review, these scores are so close. Has people sitting on the edge of their seats. Finals match number one will be Red Alliance with a score of 117 to 113. The Blue Crew narrowly steals that first point away from fifth dimension. Remember everyone, all teams are given a eight minute reset following the conclusion of a match to allow them to recharge their batteries, reset their bots, realign those sensors, and make sure everything is ready to go.
with just over a minute and a half to go. Who's ready for round two of the finals? Once again, captaining the Red Alliance is the Blue Crew. And captaining the Blue Alliance is Fifth Dimension. Blue Crew seems to be joining, seems to be being joined on the field by the Clock Stoppers, 512. Fifth Dimension has brought in their alliance partner, Electric Eagles. Will the Blue Crew stop the clock on this finals match? Or will Fifth Dimension soar with their Eagles into one more round? Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? Crowd, how about y'all? Is everybody ready for one more round? The stage has been cleared. The field has been set. The Jeff has given us the thumb. We will go live in three, Two, one, go! There we have it. That's the start of the autonomous period. Let's see what these robots can do. Looks like most of these robots are in action. Fifth Dimension puts what puts the pixel on their tape. Blue Crew places the pixel on their tape and places a pixel on the backdrop. A robot from the Blue Alliance and a robot from the Red Alliance are both parked. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. There we have it. That's the start of the driver control period where the drivers control their own robots. Let's see what these robots can do. Blue crew already going for the first two pixels. They got a pix purple pixel. 22382 two, places one, places a pur purple pixel on the blue backdrop as well. Blue crew going for another pixel. Blue Crew gets a yellow pixel. Looks like they're going for a mosaic. 
Two, three, three, eight, two going for a yellow pixel. Looks like they're also going for a mosaic. Blue crew loading up on their two pixels. Two, three, three, eight, two loading up on their pixels. Looks like they're also going for one. Blue crew going for their, going for finish their mosaic. Blue crew gets a purple pixel on their backdrop. Two, three, three, eight, two going for their pixel. Blue crew loading up on their pixels. Two, two, zero, two, two, delivering their two pixels. Blue crew going to place their two pixels on their backdrop. Two, three, eight, zero, seven. Looks like they're parked on their bread alliance. Two three three eight two looking like looks like they're trying to get their pixels. And that's the start of the end game. Let's see what drones are launched. Looks like one drone has already been launched. Looks like two two three zero three two three three eight two scoring their pixels. Two three eight zero seven doing a pull up on the bar. Wow. Blue crew going for their measuring tape attachment pickup. And they get it. Two, three, three, eight, two parked as well. And while this match is under review, let's remind ourselves to thank all of the teams that came out today, all of the volunteers, the mentors, the coaches, the parents and players, everyone who has a hand in helping make first what it is. Final score is in from qualification match number two. It will be the Red Alliance Blue Crew alongside Clock Stoppers have taken that second match. Congratulations, Blue Crew, on your Alliance victory. Thank you, Fifth Dimension, for playing in our finals. In just a few minutes, we will be having our award ceremony and our closing ceremony. Please stay tuned. Once again, teams, you may not know what awards you have won, so please stand by.
versus Chesapeake. DCI qualifier number two is now in the books. And to commemorate that, we would love to thank our gracious host, the DC International School. DC International has a few teams of their own. They have Mobius, Luminous, and by far my favorite, Cerberus. I served under Team Vulcan, which was the same number, 4821. That is our FRC team. Mr. Donovan was my first FRC coach all the way back then. I still come out and support every year. We love seeing the new students. If you are a DCI volunteer, please wave your hand, stand up, so we can appreciate you all, DCI. Speaking of starting to appreciate people, judges, can we please make our way to the front? All judges, all bright yellow polo shirts, please make your way to the front for the award ceremony. If you have a yellow polo shirt, please make your way to the front. And now, as we start some of our awards, we'll start with the Judges' Choice Award. The Judges' Choice Award is given at the discretion of the judges to a team they have encountered whose unique efforts, performance, or dynamics merit recognition, yet the team does not fit into any of the existing award categories. Here's what the judges have to say about this team. As a rookie team, this team has persevered through the learning process. Their presentation shown a bright light on their game analysis and strategy. In everything they do, they illuminate their passion for robotics. Come on down, team two, four, one, six, three, illuminate dot e x e. The next award that we will be handing out today is the Design Award. The Design Award expands on this year's challenge, expiring teams to incorporate industrial design into their robots. These elements can be shown in the simplicity of the design as it applies to the task, the look and the feel of the robot in how the design allows us to think of robots in new ways. The design aspect must serve a function but should also differentiate the robot in a unique fashion. Honorable mentions go to our third place, 22202 infinity.exe, and our second place, 6417 Blue Crew. And here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team has a small but mighty robot that is played well throughout the day. Not only did all elements of their modular design work well, but they were also colorful. The team members were always ready to compete in their purple hats. Come on down, one, three, five, nine, nine, Bruin Bots. How did you skip everyone? He's just like, I want the trophy. Get them. Yes, please say hi to all of the wonderful judges on your way to get your trophy. All right, keep going. What, what you doing? Keep going. Out, out, out. Yes, do not stop. Keep going. 
Great job, y'all. We'll see y'all next time. The Motivate Award. The team that receives the Motivate Award celebrates the culture of first and clearly shows what it means to be a team. This award celebrates the team that represents the essence of the first tech challenge competition through team building, team spirit, and displayed enthusiasm. This is a team who makes a collective effort to make first known throughout their school and community and sparks others to embrace the culture of first. Our honorable mentions in third place, 5225 Fox Tech. As well as in second place, 14607 Robot Uprising. Here's what the judges have to say about the, the winner of this award. We searched high and low for motivation, and we found this team everywhere. They collaborated and engaged students with their robot at a marketplace, a robot gala, and a beach. Watch out around you for their outreach to take a big bite. It's 8535 Shark Bites. Come on down. The Control Award celebrates a team that demonstrates innovative thinking in the control system to solve game challenges, such as autonomous operation, enhancing mechanical systems with intelligent control, or using sensors to achieve better results on the field. Our honorable mention in third place, 8535 Shark Bites. In second place, 13270 Electric Slide. But our winners, wait. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team used a road runner and distance sensor technology to precisely control their robot. It requires lots of effort tuning and calibrating the robot, but they really closed all the circuits needed for their robot to run the field. Your winners, one, three, three, five, three, Circuit Breakers! The Innovate Award, sponsored by RTX. The Innovate Award, sponsored by Raytheon Technology, celebrates a team that has the ingenuity and inventiveness to make their designs come to life. This award is given to a team that the judges feel has the most innovative and creative robot design solution to the first Tech Challenge game. Elements of this award include elegant design, robustness, and out-of-the-box thinking. This award may address the design of the whole robot or some sub-assembly components of the robot. This creative component needs to work consistently, but a robot does not have to work all of the time during the matches to be considered for this award. This team's engineering portfolio shows the design of the components and the team robot and clearly explains how the team arrived at their solution. Our honorable mentions in third place, 519 Epsilon Delta Two. In second place, 13599 Bruin Bots. And here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team had a sneaky intake that would quickly fly over the pixels. They continued to make their components work well together as they iterated. You might say they were sly as foxes. Your winner, 4451, the Flying Foxes! We have a representative that will accept this award in place of the Flying Foxes. <laughs> She's like, I have her number. Great, go take everybody's hand. 
The Connect Award is presented to the team that the judges feel most connected with their local science, technology, and engineering and math community. A true first team is more than the sum of its parts and recognizes that engaging their local STEM community plays an essential part in their process. The recipient of this award is recognized for helping the community understand first the first tech challenge and the team itself. In addition, this team aggressively seeks and recruits engineers and explores the opportunities available in the world of engineering, science, and technology. Our honorable mentions in third place, 13270, Electric Slide. In second place, 22202, Infinity.exe. And here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team almost went out of this world as they explored science and technology. They went above and beyond 3D space when talking to STEM professionals. Overall, their enthusiasm for STEM connections earned five stars. Our winner, 23382, Fifth Dimension. Glasses work when they're on your eyes. Glasses work when they're on your eyes. The Think Award. The Think Award is given to the team that the judges feel best reflects the journey of the engineering design process. The engineering portfolio is the key reference for judges to help them identify the most deserving team. This team's engineering portfolio focused on the design and build stage of the team's robot and exemplified their journey as a team and engineers. Our honorable mentions in third place, 4451, the Flying Foxes. In second place, 23382, Fifth Dimension. And here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team understood the value of thinking through the physics of their mechanisms. Their iterative process is useful, but sometimes the designs will get torqued in order to complete the hunt. They need to do the calculations to make a successful robot. Your winner, 7519 QO Cougarbotics. <laughs> and we have another Honorable acceptance. Here at first, you can be like me and wear many teams' hats. Would our finalist alliance please make their way to the field? Fifth, fifth dimension. Bring your alliance. We need Electric Slide and the Electric Eagles. sat in red, but their color is blue. Blue Crew, bring your alliance down to accept your winning alliance medals. Clock Stoppers, that includes you. Infinity.exe, that is you.
our final award of the night is the Inspire Award. The Inspire Award is presented to the team that the judges felt truly embodied the challenge of the First Tech Challenge program. The team that receives this award is a strong ambassador of the First community and works to promote First and make it loud. The team that receives this award has performed well in all judging categories and was chosen by the judges as a model of First Tech Challenge, both on and off the playing field. This team shares their experiences, enthusiasm, and knowledge with other sponsors, their community, and the judges working as a unit. This team will have shown success in performing the task of designing and building a robot. Our honorable mentions in third place, 14607 Robot Uprising. In second place, 22202 Infinity.exe. And here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team embodies the values of FTC with their transparent design that they showcase to their community. Their continuous prototyping blew the judges away. Their tape measure helped to lift their team to new heights. Six, four, one, seven, Blue Crew. Come receive your Inspire Award. And for our advancing teams, we, oh yeah, we got it. remember there are three advancement slots. No team can hold two, so if you get an advancement slot, you go up to the next team behind you. So our Inspire Award winner, Blue Crew, you all have an advancement spot. You were also our winning alliance captain, so we had to give away that second spot. So coming up behind that will be infinity.exe. Infinity you all have an advancing slot. And you were also on the winning alliances team. You all would have went up as well there. So for <laughs> our third advancement will be Robot Uprising! You all will also be advancing. Once again, we would like to thank everyone for coming out today. We'd like to thank our judges, we'd like to thank our sponsors, our referees, our FTAs, our coaches, mentors, and everyone who helps make first what it is. I am Slick Smith. This is the conclusion of First Chesapeake DCI qualifier number two.